Hi, my name is Karthik from Design School by WP Algorithm. And in this video, I want to show you how to do your custom WordPress header and footer using Elementor free version. Now, if you don't have the pro version, you'll know that you can't build your header and footer using the visual Elementor interface. Now you can do it with the help of a plugin called Elementor Blocks. Just search for Elementor, just search for Elementor Blocks and it's this one, Elementor header, footer and blocks template by Brainstorm Force. These are the folks behind Astra theme. That theme itself has over a million installs. So pretty high quality product. You can see the ratings and also this plugin itself has 1 million installs. So install and activate this plugin. This will enable us to do a custom header and footer. It will also give us the widgets that we need to build our custom header and footer. Anyway, once you install and activate the plugin, when you hover over the appearance menu, you get a new option called header and footer blocks. Just click on that. Now, do note that this plugin works with most of the standard WordPress themes and for few themes, you may have to tweak a little bit, but it just works out of the box. You don't have to worry much about it. So I want to create my website header right now using Elementor interface. So I'll just click add new. I'll call it web header. And you can choose the type of template. I want a header. And once you choose header, you can see where you want this header to appear. Essentially, this is another Elementor Pro feature called conditions, again, available for free Elementor version, which is pretty awesome. So once you set the type of the template and choose where this should appear, you can also add this later after editing it with Elementor, but you can also add it beforehand. You can also select user roles, meaning who can view this header template or the whole header itself, which is really awesome. I don't think even Elementor Pro has this feature natively built in. You may have to use something like dynamic content plugin, but this is awesome. If you want to filter out or show header only to few users, you can do that too. But anyway, I'll just select all, not a problem. And then there's an option. If you check this box, basically this header will also be available when even when Elementor canvas is selected. Anyway, we're done, pretty much done with most of the settings here. So you just need to publish. And once you've published, let's click on edit with Elementor. And you're in the Elementor interface. You can see that I don't have the pro version. In fact, I've deactivated my pro version. So if I minimize most of the blocks, you have a new section called header, footer and blocks. Well, this gives us the widgets that we need to build our header. So I'll just click, I'll have a three column structure. And in the first column, I'll have my logo. You can see the logo widget is available here. You can simply click and drag that logo widget. And just like that, I get my logo. All of these are usually available in Elementor Pro, but because of this plugin, we are getting it on the free version. I'll set a custom size to my logo and maybe I'll align it onto the left. You can also link it to basically your home page or whatever. You can also use a custom image in case you don't want to use the logo that you've uploaded to, uploaded using WordPress customizer area. It's all, totally up to you, doesn't matter. And in the second column, I want to add my menu. So they also have a nav menu widget, which is pretty neat. Again, this widget is found in Elementor Pro version. They have it here. I'll set this to 10%. Now you can click on the nav menu widget. You can select the menu, different kinds of menus that I've created in WordPress interface. You can also choose if the last element should be a button. So that becomes a button like that. Just in case you want to have a call to action button, you can just make this a link and you can just select this option and that will become a call to action button, which is a pretty neat, neat touch. Always enable schema support. So this will help search engines understand the context of this menu. You can click on layout. You can select between horizontal, vertical, expanded so basically expanded is this toggle menu or you can also select fly out menu which is pretty neat so click on that the menu pops up from 
the left or right wherever you choose and you can also choose the sub menu indicators but i'll just choose normal menu for now so i'll choose horizontal menu as of now and you can also change the sub menu arrows like that you can also fix a breakpoint for mobile and tablet devices when this should turn into a hamburger menu so something like that but it's a good idea to keep it at 1025 pixels you can also pick open and close icons for it i'll click on this again you also have the search bar you can simply click and drag it there you get the search widget you can also style the search widget maybe something like that placeholder color you can also set background for this section i'll just pick background type in case you're looking for detailed header video you can check out custom header video you can search on the channel or you can go to design your website playlist i've made separate video on how to tweak it on mobile and tablet devices so there you have it this is how it looks on desktop and this is how it's gonna look on tablet and this is how it's gonna look on mobile so let's fix this maybe on mobile i just want it at 30 percent i just want this at 30 percent that's at 40 percent just like that or maybe 10 percent is enough for this if you have the Uboy Elementor Steroids add-on, you can also reverse the order. So you can give order number of two to this. So on mobile, this gets pushed onto the right and you have search bar in the middle, however you wish to. You can also do the same with logo and stuff. Anyway, it's a total personal choice. You can customize this on tablet as well. You can also click on the column and align vertically onto the middle you can set a background color and once you're happy with the changes simply hit publish and your header will be live on your website so if i visit my site or if any user visits my site there is the header right that we just mentioned pretty neat right you can also adjust various parameters. So you can go to style menu, you can play with the drop down, width, color, typography, all that sort of stuff. It's totally up to you. You can just go and play with that. Similarly, in a similar fashion, you can also build your footer. All you need to do is to again head over to Elementor menu, click on header footer blocks, create a new template. And this time you'll just pick footer. You, you also have an option to pick before footer. So just in case you want to put some important links, maybe sticky sections or something, you can include those in before footer section. And there's one more cool feature in this plugin, which is custom block. Well, what exactly is custom block? So for those of you who don't know, if you head over to template and if you view your saved templates, None of the templates created with Elementor free version have short codes. Of course, you can do this using anywhere Elementor, but using this plugin, you can create any template and you'll get a short code for it. Well, how does that help? You can then embed this template anywhere. So this is basically mimicking the global widget function in Elementor Pro. So let's say I'll just call it custom block. I'll click on edit with Elementor. Here you can design or put anything. Let's put a block here. Maybe I'll put this block. And if I want to use this block in everywhere across my WordPress website, all I need to do is to head over to the dashboard, go to appearance. Once I create that custom block, 
I can head over to header and footer options and you can see that it has a short code. So I can simply copy the short code. Now anywhere in my WordPress website, I can simply go and paste the short code and that particular block is instantly available, which is pretty neat and it's really awesome. So let's put a short code widget. I'll paste the short code here. And just like that, we have our block here. So this is basically like a global widget. And anytime you change the block itself, it's being affected everywhere. So this is just like global widget function, which is also found in Elementor Pro. So pretty neat plugin. All you need to do is to install it and head over to appearance and create as many headers and footers. And for each header and footer, you can also set conditions. So if you click on edit, you can simply set conditions. Maybe you can exclude this on few pages. So maybe you can exclude this on archives. Maybe for archives, you can set another header or another template. This is really neat. And they also have role based assignments. Again, this is really awesome. And this is a great replacement for Elementor Pro's theme builder to some extent. However, I still recommend Elementor Pro. But if you want to do your custom header and footer using the free version, well, this is the way to go. This is a no brainer. And again, it's Elementor Blocks by Brainstorm Force. Check it out in the WordPress repo. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. That's it for now. And this process is totally independent of your current theme. So even if you change your theme, your header and footer won't be affected. That's a big bonus. Plus you get the global widget function found in Elementor Pro for your Elementor free version. Yeah, that's an added bonus too. That's it for now. I'll catch you in the next one. Until then, peace.